Yo. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. So happy to be here. We have a couple options for today. I was thinking like maybe we go pull up. It was my birthday the other day. We pull up this video that m my partner Cynthia, she got, she, she made that guy sing happy birthday to me. It was so, so funny, man. Kind of thinking like maybe we pull that up. Maybe we just sample it and just make like a crazy, crazy track to it. Happy birthday, Carlo from Cynthia, I, L, L, and Cello. One you want out, 2022. I love this and I love you. That's plenty. Let's grab that. Yo, Carlo, today your birthday, number song 55. And then what I was thinking was, um, I was thinking let's throw it into, into the Serato sampler here. I, I just, I, I've been uh, messing with this recently. It's, it's so much fun. Check this out. Just literally dragged it in. Down here, you can just do random. Random, chop it up. Happy Carlo, 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 Carlo. Let's throw some effects on it real quick. Let's put it up to like 127. Something like that. Let's just loop it for a second. Okay, that's cool. Let's throw XO on it. Let's throw a random pattern. Let's see what's up. Sick. So this is a great, great loop right now. I'm loving this. Let's, um, I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to isolate uh, the vocal from the data here. Something, I love when I'm making songs, I love to create just a crazy vibe. All right, so we got this great vibe. Now, I'm going to unmute the Moog. I, I've just been loving the Moog, man. I have all these other synths, but the Moog is just, just doing it for me. It'd be great to find something a little bit melodic. Okay, that's cool. I want to let, let's see what's up.
Okay, yo, this is this is super fire. Check this out. Let's just loop, let's loop something and see how it feels. That's beautiful vibe. Let's hear this. That's cool. That, like to me, this is the loop right here. Sometimes I just like throwing stuff, seeing seeing how it works. Yo, Mick got to the craziest libraries. Shout him out, Mick. classic now I throw a groove on it I just wanted to just wanted to get some other sounds kind of accenting the sections but now I want to let's just make it have a little bit more character just want to make it sound a little a little driven for now. Right now I'm just gonna group everything. I basically want it on everything but the that drum group. Okay, so I'm gonna mute that drum for a second.
crazy. I love that last that last loop section. Let me let let's grab a piece of it right now and make it our loop. out the most of every element just trying to make it you know have a little shine have a little pump you know with the compressor with the noise you see i don't know it's just cool let's throw the q3 before the compressor let's just smooth out some of that low end and i'm, I'm not looking for this kick to be the kick for the song to me i'm just thinking like this is these are all textures to me the fundamentals can come later on, but I'm, I'm just trying to decorate textures and stuff. Get some more of that air inside there. That's amazing. Let's separate the clap from the rest of that real quick. So I'm just going to duplicate and on um, one of the tracks, I'm going to just solo the clap. And on the duplicate, I'm going to mute the clap and everything else can stay. Maybe later on working on this, I will um, separate it further. But for now, I just want it like that. Let's throw a knock on. do right now is I want to just get some ghost notes so there's a million ways you can do that just right now to be super quick I'm gonna just throw everything at zero and I'm gonna throw this last kick at a hundred and um, it won't visually show up here but it's fine and then I'm going to move this over and I'm gonna drop the pitch uh, volume by like 6 dB. All right, yo, the clap is great. Let's make the clap a little bit special.
the mix down on that on that texture. Actually, we're gonna put the mix on a hundred, and we're gonna group that because I just want to put a little bit of a verb and delay, just kind of smooth that out a little bit more. Um, at literally any anyone will do. For some reason, I just want to put shimmer on. Let's see how that sounds. That's fire. I love that. Let's turn down the mix on that. We just need a little bit. And then let's turn down the that overall that texture. All the way off. Let's blend it back in now. Okay, now there's also one more thing I want to do before we move on. Um, the hot open hi-hat here. Just want to make it sound like it's going out of phase, basically. Let's try this new plugin from Future Audio Workshop called Sublab XL. It's phenomenal. I won't be able to play this on the synthesizer, unfortunately. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play it on my keyboard here. Um, but that's fine.
that was so crazy. So, to me right now, this song is such an incredible vibe. And for me, the next step is to get vocals on this. <laughs> 